Today I want to talk about resistance and why resistance is the biggest obstacles of creativity and it's a known term, it's a common thing that when you try to do something new, when you try to do something creative there will be all kinds of things trying to prevent you from doing that. And this can be uh, self-doubt. It can be perfectionism. It can be just you come up with excuses why you can't do it or your body starts to kind of just shut down because your body and your ego want to keep you in a familiar space and that's essentially if you've if you're familiar with feeling bad, if you're familiar with being stuck in a place that you don't like, your body and mind essentially tries to keep you there. So this is why if you really want to do something, you kind of have to go straight at it and there's this analogy about the buffalo and I don't know if you've heard this before uh, it's it's in a book I don't remember the book but I, I think this is really great and when the buffalo sees and hears a storm coming what they do is that they run straight into it because they know that the quickest way for the storm to get over with is to run straight into it. And actually in the middle, in the eye of the storm, there's peace. So the quicker they get into the middle of the storm, the safer they are. So, it's like, for me, it's been okay if I shoot videos, if I, if I do something, I need to make it perfect. I need to have all kinds of equipment. I need to make the perfect sound. But as you can see, I actually just woke up like, three minutes ago and I just wanted to do a video to show you that the easiest way to check it out hot water machine yeah the easiest way to get over resistance is to start doing right away and this video is not scripted, it's not perfect, it's made with an iPhone in a kind of homestay hotel in Bali and uh, yeah, I thought that if I start my day by talking about this that I actually I actually studied this thing before I went to sleep. In my opinion, that's the quickest way to get over my resistance, All right? So what I'm gonna do now is to 
I'm gonna show you an exercise. And this is gonna be the first cut of the video. So let's jump into the exercise. Okay, so this exercise is an exercise that Tony Robbins teaches in his seminars. And uh, this is from a course that I took and I learned it and it's just so powerful. It changes how you feel inside and that makes it easier to overcome the resistance. And it's a simple phrase it goes like, I, name, mit, see, hear, think, feel, and know that I am, and then you insert a power virtue. And if you now wonder what is a power virtue, it's something that makes you feel the thing that you want to be. So it can be powerful, grateful, connected, loving, grounded, confident, courageous, brave, spectacular, whatever, but this is what you want to do. So let's say I want to be powerful and I do. I meet, see, hear, think, feel, and know that I am powerful. And I do this three times. I meet, see, hear, think, feel, and know that I am powerful. I meet, see, hear, think, feel, and know that I am powerful. And the craziest thing is that your whole body starts to feel more powerful. So, if there's any time and place, and I know especially for people trying to, to perform in front of camera and, and you get you get choked and you get all kinds of stuff. This is a really, really powerful exercise. So yeah, let's do a round now and uh, I'll play some music and you can do this. I name, see, hear, think, feel, and know that I am powerful so that you can really feel the benefit of this, okay? See you in a second. Isn't it great? Isn't it like really it, it works and it's I think it's just amazing that you can kind of brainwash you into just feeling better and that way you can overcome all sorts of uh, like weird blocks that are in your way to, to really go towards your dreams because there was another advice that you need to trust yourself when you're in the flow, when you have the ideas, you have the ideas. Yeah, I need to do this. That's actually what you need to do. But a lot of the times when we wake up the next morning, there's all kind of excuses. There's all kinds of things that starts to block us from reaching that thing and idea and action that we actually wanted to do and and that action is the only thing that's going to propel us forward towards our desired lifestyle and our desired dream so whatever you do 
when you feel that you need to do something you have to choose that no matter what you're gonna do it even if it's gonna be imperfect and for me creating these kinds of videos to just show you that whatever you can just pick up a camera and go for it and shoot it that's that's a way of, of showing that it's okay because I used to be this camera nerd and, and, and I needed to have everything perfect and the, the image needed to be perfect and the ratios and, and all stuff and, and lighting and whatever. But now I've decided to lower the barrier of entry and just create. So from now on, you're going to see a lot more videos from me because I keep on making myself better. I keep on learning things, but if I just learn things, I think that's pretty selfish if I don't share them. So that's an idea for you to chew on because if you have things and gifts that you know that people can benefit from, it's actually it's selfish to not share them. So whatever you do, do it and show it, okay? I'm gonna end this video here and I'm really grateful you were following along and uh, yeah, do this power virtue thing that Tony Robbins uses. So I, I guess it's, it's kind of super powerful and yeah. Let me know in the comments if you overcome some obstacles and resistance with the help of this video. Okay, see you. Peace out. Now it's time for coffee.